and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free <laughs> What a happy day it is today Because I'm out and it's Friday And I'm in Shropshire And the sun's shining The grass is cut The ground's hard but it's diggable and then just to make it more exciting, we've got this Jano Media lady coming, doing a podcast. I mean, I don't know what she's going to... If she'd be bored walking around with listening to us talk about rubbish, I'm not sure, but anyway, she's not here yet. I'll, I'll, get, her, I'll get her in the picture after. Well, she's my first all at, at the back out, and um, I'm not been out for a couple of weeks. And this super exciting, super, is this super exciting? Are you ready? First all, first all, all, it's a ring thing. I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, it's a ring thing. Chris thinks he's either found a button or a, a Roman grot. What, what, this, that? It looks like a button to me. Doesn't matter though, does it? Because not been here very long. Could be a button. Oh, it's a bit chunky, isn't it? Is it? It's got a lump in the middle, though. Come on, push that lump off. Be a coin or something. <gasps> oh. Do you see what I was thinking? It is, isn't it? It's a Roman. Is it? Yeah, chunky Roman. God, well, this is. No, the... no, no, no. It's a button. Ah. Oh. Gutted. Well, next time. I'm not gutted, but because we only here for a few minutes. You see, you've got Roman on your mind. That's a good sign that you're going to find mm. something. Right, so this was a very low signal, a bit scruffy-ish, but around 53. Uh, Chris says he used to have a field called a 53 field, you know, your name fields. And he'd, that was because it was full of hammers coming up at 53. So, oh, 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 oh. imagine that'd be great, wouldn't it? That'd get me. Oh, God, proper think there is one now. Oh, what's that then? Is it just a bent? Is it just a bent nail or something, or is it actually something? I think it's when ring things go bad. It's a ring. It's when a ring thing go bad. When ring things. Go is it bad. an actual ring? I think it might. No, it might be an annular brooch though, because there's a an annular brooch. Buckle. There's like a steel pin there, but there's like a lump on the back. See what I mean? Like, yeah. There's like a pin thing there. So do you think it definitely was something, this? Definitely something. Oh. I thought it was a ring, but you can see the rust. Oh, yeah, you can see the bits of pins. I'll, I'll give that... Is it, I'll, I'll give it a clean when you get home, and hopefully it'll have a bit of decoration on it. And we'll find out that it was that Roman man that dropped my Roman silver. Incidentally, just over there... A year or so ago. This is the first time I've been back since then. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> I love that. Right, it was a really nice signal, this. And you know when I told you that lady from um, Jano Media came? Well, well, she's here now, look. There she is, she's with a big furry thing. Looks like a hat to me, that. But anyway, she said it's for a mic. So anyway, I was under pressure because she's watching. 53, it was nice. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's a little wire thingy. <laughs> Not that good then. So it's, an, it's just an electrical wire. But I suppose it could be classed as a ring thing, sort of. Anyway, yeah, no, that's, that's not that's not going to impress Mrs. Jano Media. I'm, I'm impressed. This is something I've not had for a long time. Um, a horseshoe, although I don't think it is a horseshoe because it's quite small. I think it might probably be like an oxen shoe. It's a bit like it broke off there. Yeah, I think it's an, an old ox shoe. I mean, it could be about 400 years old, that. There's no way of finding out, but there you go. She's just asking how I set my camera up, you see, and I'm just showing her here. Genius. See? You have to bend over at a funny angle, but that can't, <laughs> that can't be helped, that. I mean, if you're in a field and you're looking for something to balance on, you've only got a detector and a spade, don't you? <laughs> this is, these are the secrets. Yeah, give me the secrets. Bit. 
interesting can. Bit of ham massive hammered. Yeah, it's not a milk bottle lid, Ooh. is it? Oh, you're just too excited for nothing then. To move, we spotted this little bit of ploughy thing, and you know we like a bit of plough. So we thought we'll just have a run over here for an hour and see if we can find anything because I'm desperate for sassy to f see us find something. At the minute, we haven't found anything exciting for her at all. Already the langs shouting exciting noises. See that there. What is it? I've left it in the clod for you there, look. You see that? <gasps> what is it? Oh, it's going to be enamoured, that, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. But oh. we just thought I'll do. Watch, watch you're shot. out, you look sassy, can't see it. You're just being selfish with your finds, Langston. Come out, come out of the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's. Oh, it's definitely going to be an hammered kind, that, and it don't be a button, don't be a button, don't be a button. It's too thin to be a button. Too thin, yeah. But this I think is you've little, done it. Little. Oh, it's a, it's a Commonwealth one, I think. Oh, no, no, not a Commonwealth. No, it's not. Oh, oh. it's definitely. I'm trembling. Oh. That's all if we Cromwell sort of days, that one. We're just going to be careful not to rub. Oh, it's pierced, is it? No. I don't know what it is. I'm all excited, though. Oh. Can I have a look? Yeah, I'm just going to let me do my thing and then I'll, I'll, I'll go and wet it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Has it got anything on it? It's got a little hole in it. So that makes it not a coin now, it's um, a relic. It could be deemed as treasure, yes. It could be deemed as treasure because it's not actually one single so, coin so now. You'd have to show the fines liaison officer. Oh, it is that bit? I can see the edge. Yes, oh! Let me just... Um, Langy! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great stuff, but we, uh, it looks like Elizabeth I to me. Yeah, just I wonder why it's pierced. Though. You know what other coin was pierced, don't you? Yep. Do you yeah. know what kind was pissed? Which one was that? That one that I found that was haunted, that wrecked my uh, life. I and I had to take it back to the field and rebury it. I think it's, it's, it's it. got like a circular shield around it. I think it's the Charles. Oh. Because it's got like circular Definitely shield. hammered, isn't it? Can, yeah. I, can I touch it, please? Yeah, I just won't finish that bit off of it. Just a couple of seconds and it'll be all right. Do you know, I think it's Elizabeth first with the face rubbed I off. I think it's Charles. Because of the round, the round, um... Shield on the on the other side. That's because right. you know, you know, Sassy in um, Elizabeth the first wasn't that popular, and they used to rub her face off. <gasps> no. Is, yeah. It used to happen to like quite a few of the monarchs, Charles the first as well. But really? then, really, I never knew that. But uh, it's sort of like loyalist thing. They might keep this on as like a token of their loyalty to. Oh, well done, Langy. But if I get me, can I have a touch. Yeah, of course. You can. Like <laughs> oh my god. There you go. There you see. So the slow release. Could be it'll be something. at least five hundred years old that. Yeah, it's yeah, four hundred at least, I think. Yeah. You know, it gives you a lot of hope when somebody finds something. I'm really pleased for Chris. You know, it just gives you hope that there's hammers in here or something. Just want a buckle or I mean a George third copper would be wonderful. Got a feeling that might not be a rock, not rock, but I'm going to give it a go. Clump as he dump, 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 so I'm going to have to smash it up a bit. Is it there somewhere? Which is pretty big for a dumpy dump, dump clump. I have to get my pin pointer out now. Oh, right. Ooh, that sounds strong. Still in there. We're still in there. Come on. Ooh. Oh no, what is it? Oh, it's a milk bottle lid. It's just a lid. <laughs> it could be a very old lid. Oh, I was hoping really for a pe uh, I it's was looking beautiful. For a copper penny I was hoping for then. Looks like it's got DG on it, which is my initials. We're well, gonna be excited. You know how Chris found his big coin with a hole in? I found one bigger. Look, it's got a hole in it. Not sure if I can see any medieval markings on it or whatever it is. <laughs> it's shiny, isn't it? Like a bit of shiny. Probably just to lid off something. Is there an all in that side? But yeah, you see, Chris has got something with an all in, and so have I. Well, there's still no luck for me. I don't know where my luck's gone, but at least Chris found a hammered coin. 
No, it's only a short hunt because obviously we're doing this podcast with this lady and I've been talking a lot to her and she wants, and she now she wants to do an interview for an hour in the pub. So that's all we've got for now, but don't worry, I've got some more digs this week, so uh, I shall see you very soon. Well, I'm home now and I thought I'd show you my little thing because it's the only little thing that I found. Now, it might be an annual brooch, but did they make them out of like a coppery stuff? I'm not sure, I thought they were always silver. I'm not sure. Um, it's definitely got a lump on it and it was definitely something, definitely something. But um, I'm not sure what, so if, if you've got any ideas or suggestions, just let me know, I mean, don't be shy. If you think it's Saxon, just let me know, right? Because you know. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to tell you where I've been. You know, us metal detectorists, we go out all winter, don't we? And we're knee deep in mud and we, 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 we're freezing and my fingers are dropping off and you're getting battered by hailstones and wind and everything and we're out there and we keep wishing for the day that we can sit down in the grass and enjoy the scenery with the sunshine and then that time comes and then what happens grounds like concrete you've got grass is knee deep you've got all crops in the plough insects are massive and all want to bite you and you can't go you've got nowhere to go detecting so i've just been going where i can at the minute which is uh you know, beggars can't be choosers and they just haven't been finding anything. So I'm not putting videos out because I'm not going hunting. It's just the fact that, you know, even I can't make nothing exciting. Well, I could give it a try, but you know. So here's a little bit of evidence. They always do a starter video. What a beautiful day it is today. I've, I've not even started yet and I'm already sweating. Even if I don't find anything today, I'm going to have a good time having a good chat. So chatty chat, dig dig. Although I do, I have wished myself a Victoria shilling. But uh, <laughs> if you don't find anything to film, you, you can't make a video, can you? And so, till next time then, dig it, dig, dig, dig. I hope, I hope you've got somewhere to go. Um, and don't worry, it'll soon be all the weekenders. Just come to the pub for an hour for the interview. Look, we've got microphones and a special area and everything. I'd like to thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you get airless cornflake. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what she's going to talk to us about, but this is good, isn't it? Because, like a pair of babies, she's gone to the toilet. She probably thinks, oh no, because them two playing with their microphones. Uh -huh.